DJ AFK here. Happy Saturday. It is too cold out there to really go anywhere this evening, so we are going to try out some Diablo 3. I played this uh, kind of lightly a few years ago. Haven't picked it up since. Figured tonight was a good time to do that. So since we have no idea what we're doing, let's go ahead and create a new character. I know that I have had the, the monk and the witch doctor. Don't remember what the other class I had was, but let's uh, see what all we have here. So this kind of looks like a paladin, called a crusader. Uh, let's see. He is a tank class, it appears. A movable stone in the middle of any fight. All right. A demon hunter. His traps sounds kind of like a thief. Monk was awesome. That was uh, that was pretty fun. All right, so barbarian moves aggressively. Sounds good. Uh, let's see. Crush enemies in close quarters. Let's go ahead and try out this crusader. See what he's about. Yep. Let's start the game. Act one. It's pretty ominous. At twelve, I swore the oath, leaving home and family. At 16, I saw my master die. I took up his shield and his name, and on that day, I became a crusader. Armored by faith, driven by duty, bound to kill the enemies of Zakarum. Sworn to live as a crusader and to die as one. Now, corruption returns to the hearts of men. I see it in the eyes of the mad. Hear it in the howling of the damned. A falling star in the west leads me to the town of New Tristram. The crusade calls me. And so, I go. It's gotta be New Tristram, because in uh, Diablo 1, we kind of left that town a little abandoned. The fallen star is close, but there is death All right, too. I do need to move an item on the screen. Let's see if I can do that real quick. Sorry about that. Let's see if this is far enough out of the way. Uh, it looks, looks like it. All right. Don't know what I pressed there, but sure. Patience. It's like G. I don't see anything that does. What is that? Oh well. Let us move forward. That was kind of easy. Well, that's right. We do have to uh, change the difficulty. Greetings. I am a crusader of the Zakarum. Captain Rumford. I Lord think we can only do that once we're we in town. We drive them back. Let's go ahead and finish this part. Bring that up just a tiny bit. They keep coming. Yeah, one shotting everything is no fun. Well, it is fun, but. Only when you know it's because you've got good stuff. <laughs> yeah, never seen anyone fight like that before. Guards, open the gates. 
You'll find Leah at the Slaughtered Calf Inn. All right. Now that we're in town, I think we can has fallen to this change that. Raise too hard. Face. What faith can save us now? It is the end. There's nothing in that stash. Give me free stuff. Are you Leah? They tell me you survived the Falling Star. I did, but it blasted my uncle Deckard Kane into the depths of the old cathedral. I tried to search for him, but the dead were already rising. I came back here to rally the militia, but the Watch out! The wounded are turning! Oh. They're attacking the pub. How dare you? This is killing business. The dead will overwhelm us all, unless something is done. Something like putting the dead back to sleep? I could do that. Thank you. You should speak with Captain Rumford at the gate. All right, so it looks like we have a push type maneuver, well as our normal stuff. They call that shield bash. I've come to help. How do we stop these risen dead? I admire your courage, but Captain Dalton and the militia were slaughtered by those things. Only I survived. Have faith, Captain. Have faith. Well, I have seen you fight. Strike at the wretched mothers and their queen. They're the ones vomiting out these horrors. They're attacking the barricades! I remember why we quit playing this game. Uh, I went ahead and bought it for Xbox because I wanted to actually control the direction of my character instead of clicking on the ground. And that game did accomplish that. But when I went to link my Battle.net accounts, it didn't actually provide me any benefit whatsoever. It was just, hey, you linked your accounts. You can't take saved games across between the PC and the Xbox. Uh, can't uh, take any stuff. I, I think achievements may have gone over. It's like, well, what's the point of linking these two games if I can't play them like that? I mean, that, that's uh, not really what I would intend. We're still pretty much one-shotting everything, or two-shotting. Gotta find this queen out here. <laughs> it does look like I am taking some damage. There we go. This one regenerates four life per second. some pit to um, the underworld there it should slow the attacks my wrath is low K 
cave under the well. Uh, let's check our equipment here. Let's see, the axe of wounding is much better than the flail that I currently have. Let's go ahead and make that trade. And the cave under the well does not disappoint. It is, in fact, a cave. I'm assuming it's under the well. Do we have here got some boots and we got some more damage for a weapon paladin class probably needs a sword anyway Incessant clicking of this game is one one turn off, but hey, some people might like it. It probably would work pretty decent on mobile. Or it seems to have pretty well the same layout and controls as the original. Alright, so we have explored this entire cave under the well. <laughs> Looks like there's a straight path over there. But let's check out underneath this building first. The rumors of torture and worse grow every day. What has happened to Tristram and its king? I once thought Leoric a great man, but it seems I was deceived. We all were. He sends our meager army against Westmarch on the morrow. What will become of us? That creature must die. Not enough wrath. There we go. And we've got a level. And some potions. Which... I guess I have to bind to a button. Uh, looks like that is Q. All sorts of stuff in here. They are generous. see what all this is. Magic axe that is ever so slightly better than what we have. Uh, the dagger is not. And neither is the chest thing. Let's move on. I thought there was a way to kind of tell where I was supposed to go. I guess we'll just kill everything. Sort it out in the end. While exploring the cave with hopes of finding hidden treasure, I came upon a most grisly sight. A heap of dead bodies. Unbelievable. As I was searching them for any items of value, they began to rise. I must tell them of this in New Tristram before it's too late. A new skill slot is available. What does that do? Let's see. Blinds everybody in front of me. I can use it every 12 seconds.
All right, we've cleared out all of that. Let's head down this pathway. Old Tristram. Diablo himself was here. Old Tristram, huh? Well, that was the, the boss we were supposed to kill. Okay, that was kind of quick. I think there is a way um, to salvage old equipment. So some of this garbage that I have, or maybe I just do sell it in this game, something like that, but there, there was some purpose for collecting everything that you get on the ground. Looks like we may have cleared this whole place out as well. Grab some stragglers and see what this dark cellar is all about. all the barrels never know what's inside all right so that dark cellar didn't really have much but it did have some stuff in it I guess we were supposed to head back to new Tristram all right what did we get we got some bunk boots, bunk X, nice pants, and nice boots. There we go. Need to talk to Captain Rumford. Help, but could you talk some sense into Leah? She won't give up on the idea of rescuing her uncle. She's brave. With help, she may yet save Cain. Blessings of the light! We got us a new shield as well. It's less armor. But it does have a better recovery rate. Alright, how do we salvage or otherwise sell Equipment. As you can see, business is atrocious. It must be the end times if people won't even drown Seems their unwise. Drink. Oh, that's repair. Okay, buyback. There we go. How do I... Uh, I guess that automatically sells it. We can go into Leah's room.
Guess Leah's not here. It's a shame that Bog got himself here. There's Leah. Leah. Let's find your uncle. We'll need to open the cathedral first. The guards locked it up before they were ambushed. Rumford told me they fought their way back to Adria's hut. The key must still be there. Okay, so we go to the I old ruins. Protect him, but now he's dead. Here, and we go this way. Me. According to that blinky Adrian thing on our map alive, at the top right. She died when I was very young. I was raised by Uncle Decker. Your father? He told he was a great woman who was lost from a prison like that. I require more run. Not ready yet. In the eastern kingdom of Hejistan, I heard rumors of Zakarum warriors called Crusaders. While the natives were most reticent, I was able to deduce that this order was founded 200 years ago, just as Rakis took his army of paladins west. But these Crusaders went east on a very different mission. Hidden cellar. Follow me. A hidden cellar. People said she was a witch, but I never believed it. Just like Zelda, we go through uh, everybody's Captain cellars and just start looting stuff. Not really getting a hurt. They could at least pretend that it's supposed to be difficult in some fashion. Here's the key and my mother's journal. What I've seen of it is disturbing. I want to know more about her, but that can wait. We need to save Uncle Deckard first. I will go. Stay here and learn what you can. Thank you. Ooh, level six. I suspected what was lurking within his troubled heart. I consoled him as best I could. Regardless, wherever he's headed, hell will surely follow in his wake. The shadows close in on Tristram once again. But like Aiden, I'll be gone before they fall. Alright, let's, um... Get so that we're not getting attacked from both sides. I don't like the pincer attack. Get some wrists and a magic belt that is better than what I have. It is one arm or less, but it is plus nine strength. That will help our attack. Not sure if it helps any defense in this game. Ah, the fight is over for this one. Tristram Cathedral. The Fallen Star lies within. Doesn't look like anything lurking around the sides here. There is a pile of bones with some gold in it, though. Take that. Cathedral it is. Oh, here we go. 
we have Cathedral Level 1, which I would assume means that there is more than one level. The star is close. Alright, there's some stuff. Just chucking bodies all over. that a little earlier <laughs> who knew Just knock off the chandelier chain I believe that Monk did a lot of uh, area of effect attacks, and that that felt really good. Just kind of take out everything in front of me. This guy seems to be taking out pretty much everything in front of him as well. on there. that uh, the Ravenous Dead is a teleporter. Not sure what that means. But, let's kill him anyway. He is Ravenous and dead, after all. And they dropped some decent stuff. Oh, we have Leoric's Passage. Uh, is that where we're supposed to end up, or are we just doing good? Oh, wow. This has 57 armor instead of 9. What is its drawbacks? Recovery is its drawback, but 
for that much more defense, we'll take it. Oh, minions, stay back. Back! May this wet hold. Skeleton King. The power of the fallen star awakened me. And soon all will suffer as I have suffered. Gods, bring me his bones. <laughs> That guy is kind of screwed. Am I supposed to save him or something? Oh, no, he's dead. <laughs> Take a cane. Stay back. There we go, there's somebody to fight. Nice, dropping all sorts of different things. Oh, thank you. How did he survive that one? Risk yourself for me. Your niece asked me to find you, and I agreed. Oh, it is wonderful to hear that Leah is well. I fear the worst. I learned of this secret passage through old maps I found. Oh, we have a magic two-handed flail. Let's try that one out. See what it does. We must discuss the fallen star. Follow me to Tristram. So now we have opened up the cathedral garden. I guess we could just continue on with what we are supposed to be doing. I rescued the old scholar and learned from him that a creature called the Skeleton King... Well, that cancelled. I guess that happens. Let's see. Don't know any hotkeys. Inventory is I. I'd like to see what that poison damage does, but we should keep our prior two weapons kind of chilling in here. Let's go ahead and put those in the first two slots just to make them easier to find. Uncle, you're alive! Thanks to you and your friend here. It was my duty to help. Now, I would know of the Falling Star. The prophecy of the end days surely points to it as a sign that the end has begun. Please, Uncle, not more of your stories. All that matters now is that you're back. My faith is rewarded! Sweet! We get some bracers, and they are not better than what we have. What we have actually gives us extra experience. Looks like nominal amounts, it is, but nonetheless, it is extra. Let's see what Deckard Cain needs. Once our beloved Lord, Leoric. He was driven mad by Diablo's evil. He lost both of his sons and his very soul before he was finally defeated. Now it seems he's risen to plague this land once again. Then I will be the cure. The key to defeating him lies in his old crown. Seek out our blacksmith, Hadrig. He knows of its whereabouts. Leah. You should not right. dismiss the signs so Gonna seek out the blacksmith. I had
have some new items that Each I... of my items is very special to me, but I suppose I can sell you one or two things if I must. Got some garbage for sale. Leah spent all night alongside the blacksmith's wife, tending the wounded. What is this wardrobe? Looks like I can put some tentacle wings on my back. I have a pet. I didn't know this game had pets. What is this from? StarCraft 20th Anniversary. Alright doesn't say what this one's from I don't um, don't really need wings are you Hadric Deckard Kane said you could help me find the crown of Leoric not now it's my wife she's locked in the cellar like all those who've been bitten I'm to put them all down but how can I kill my own wife it is a hard burden you bear I will help thank you follow me he will help. He's gonna, he's gonna do it for me. We need to kill the ravenous hey, dead in the cellar of the damned. Well, why is his basement called the cellar of the damned? What kind of a town is this? I mean, these people could kind of, kind of move out. Yeah, I see. I need a shield. Well, let's put my shield back on. There we go. Take care of these first couple and move out of the way and just go nuts on everybody. Nothing back here. Could kill her now. Nope. Now we got a fighter. I missed that blind. Not yet. There we go. Got it this time. Nice. Venturing javelin of the flame. I couldn't have done this without you. I'm in your debt. My name is Hedrig Eamon. You owe me nothing, friend. But I would welcome your aid in my quest to find the crown of Leoric. I can help you there. It's buried with his chancellor, my grandfather. You'll find his tomb in a cemetery in the Weeping Hollow. And if you see my fool apprentice out there, tell him to get back to town. We need to open the northwest gate. All hell's gonna break loose. Or no, we're just gonna enter the Weeping Hollow, which is right there. So find the Cemetery of the Forsaken. In the Weeping Hollow. Let's go ahead and... Well, I guess if we put that two-handed weapon on, we can't use our... Um, uh, shield badge. My wrath is low. Not enough 
wrath. Running out of wrath. I'm guessing I may build that from just auto attacking or click attacking everything. Like chapter for the wind. I require more wrath. Atalas favors me. There's a glowing fella. Well, I guess I'm not supposed to stand on the green stuff, huh? Maybe I am? I don't All of these things. They don't seem to be hurting me. Which, okay. But I would figure that I would be taking some damage. Thirty-one kills. Wow, 52 kills and one spree. Now we gotta go pick up all the stuff we dropped. You have an empty equipment slot. This does appear to be better than what I have on. Put that on. And this magic spear seems to have slightly better stats. There's always that guy. Plus 25% experience. I like bonuses like that. Well, there's a chasm in between. Can't get over there. And we knocked a couple tombstones down. Nothing like a little bit of vandalism while we're in the graveyard here. <laughs> Some of the background physics kind of fun in this game. I like it.
opened a gate. All right, so we need to search for the Chancellor's Altar beneath the Cemetery of the Forsaken. And we get a new waypoint. So now we need to find the Beneath. Don't like things that don't stay dead. Another 25% experience buff. Kinda dark in here. I guess we didn't do the gamma calibration, but maybe it's just meant to be dark in this particular place. Hey, they're like little baby monsters. I think I was supposed to kill that guy carrying all the gold sacks. That guy. Treasure goblin. There we go. Die! I want my treasure, goblin. sorts of stuff. Let's see if we got anything good. Uh, it looks like potentially for the boots. Uh, we don't have a helmet on, so yes, that is better. And that's it. Uh, what is this? It is a belt, but we will lose nine strength, so nope. Good with what we have. Somebody. Robbers have defiled my tomb. Now my husband rides in torment because I do not rest at his side. Return my bones so that we may rest in peace. New event. Yeah, these guys have, like, shields on and stuff. Maybe I can just turn on all of the turns at the same time, get everybody to spawn, and stack them up and kill them. Let's try that. Get that one open. Let's go over here, open this one. Find a corner. 
And let's start killing. I am actually taking some damage. Oh, what's this other ability I've got now? That's a taunt. to place Lady Dunhild's bones into Dunhild's sarcophagus. Sweet! And pick up all the loot out of the sarcophagus. They won't miss it. Probably missing all sorts of various loot from these places, but uh, for time's sake, let's just keep running through, knocking them all down. The further we get in the game, the better gear we get. other scavenger, he's still attacking me. Got some leather gloves. See if those are any good. Uh, maybe. Sure. Let's try them out. And some magic bracers. Plus four life per hit. Uh, let's keep the experience one for now. of the boar the crown is not here my search continues Looks like that's just an exit. That is not where we're needing to go. I think. Let's go back the other direction. See what we can find.
Oh, that's right. I didn't kill any of these guys. I guess they didn't follow me. I would have assumed that they would be aggressive and kind of come attack me. like that was their way of saying that this was not the end of the quest. We need to find the Chancellor's Altar. He brought many nobles with him, and nobles, oddly enough, want noble crypts. So I showed up with my shovel, thinking to make easy profit by digging a few holes. Ha! There's no stopping their demands around here. Now, I eat, sleep, and breathe dirt, you see. There we go, clear out that room. Uh, since uh, this did kind of look like it was the last spot on the map, so this is probably the, at least the cave where we need to be. We'll go ahead and finish this one out. Let's see what they give us here. We're already level 10. I can't remember how high you can play on the trial, but it's, it's not all that far. Maybe 13, 19, something like that. Um, it's enough to go through a bunch of things, though. I mean, you can you can try out the game for free, see if you like it. Move on. It's not expensive. I want to say it's 20 bucks for the full game. Alright, let's try not to stand in this green shit. Although that's becoming increasingly difficult because they just keep leaving green shit. These guys have a lot of health, uh, comparatively to the other mobs anyway. It looks like when I kill them that green stuff disappears. Yeah, I blinded some bats. <laughs> what are they going to do without eyes? Oh, wait. John Gorham Coffin. Alright, 
let's not spam any stuff with this guy. Looks like the density of mobs are getting lower, so they might be trying to give me some type of a break before the end. Uh, feels like we should be getting somewhere by now. All sorts of equipment. Let's see here. Ooh! Legendary unidentified helmet. We have some slightly better boots have a better shield. Nice. Guys are getting me kind of pinned up here. There we go. find some type of an end to this maze. Level 11 and some type of power that I did not check what it was. The crusade marches on. And we have a new skill. Smite. Uh, what do we have here? How do we use that? Oh, I see. They're on the same same button. Is 
that looks decent. But it wouldn't get away with uh, get away from my just regular auto attack. Huh. Let's try it out for a minute. That's what we have. don't have anything we can trade provoke for because I don't really need provoke uh, since we're not in any types of groups all right so we just changed my regular attack for a ranged attack I would assume that weapon damage still modifies it but I don't know that to be the case it might get me into a lot of trouble when we get into big packs of mobs, so we need to... We do need a regular uh, attack that we can use up close. Then we change that one back. Find our stairs up, and there's our stairs. You guys trying to run away. Not going nowhere, son. If I gotta fight this grotesque thing, then you gotta get chased down. Alright, uh, we have completed some type of a full circle in here. We missed a path somewhere. It says that I've unlocked this portion. There's a lot of mobs here, so maybe we are going the right way. Nope, that just takes us right back around where we were. did hit an end to this one, unlike the prior. That guy just popped up out of nowhere. People rising from the graves. Oh, there is an, a third dungeon now visible there. I wonder if we just ran around in the wrong order. So a defiled crypt. That sounds ominous. Man. Got a lot of stuff in these things. Twenty five percent attack speed. Let's just pull them all. I guess they don't pull well. I like that 25% attack speed. I would take it.
There's a lot going on here. There we go. Wow, I got some feeling going on. Those guys caused some damage. I guess it says mortar underneath of them, so they're launching mortars. We about dad. We're gonna have to smash our keyboard off something. happened there. <laughs> I uh, disappeared and reappeared somewhere completely else. Not yet. And this guy says must be shoveling off. Not quite sure what he means by that, but uh who eats their own? You do you. Hey, there's another one of those treasure guys. Treasure goblins. Treasure guy won't go. Did he make it through a portal? Probably. It just wasn't good enough to get him. No crown. It must be in another crypt. Make sure we picked up everything here. Yep, it says in the chat, Treasure Goblin escaped. I guess I gotta stay on him. Take him down. Does look like we got everything. All right, You're gonna show me another crypt to go in. in the cemetery of the forsaken here let's try this small little area that says we haven't been to and nothing That doesn't make for a fun time. Let's 
see if we go out uh, southwest here we actually change zones we do we're now in the weeping hollow not the cemetery of the forsaken it does say that we need to be in the cemetery of the forsaken oh well, that's okay i guess we'll uh, head back to town for now let's get rid of some of this garbage that we have on us is there a merchant what is the artisan I forget salvage that's right I can salvage stuff drop all this blue garbage in here can I get anything out of the boots yeah some stuff is there a button I can do this quickly uh, that could be better we don't use two-handed weapons I have found let's see This has some type of stats. It does look a lot lower though. No two-handers. That one's better. This one may potentially be. That's not. That's not. Also not. Nope. Maybe. It's more armor, but instead of strength, it's intelligence. So now let's get rid of that. All right. Now we need to figure out how to appraise a legendary item. Is that maybe the innkeeper person? See, the problem is they never should have named this new Tristan. You know what would take everyone's mind off their troubles? Maybe that was the same person we were just talking to. Just need to do some other type of activity. Tell me about your grandfather. He was King Leoric's Chancellor? Not much to tell. I lived with my father in Chaldeum at the time. We heard that my grandfather stayed in Tristram until the end, trying to save lives. Don't know if he succeeded, but there it is. When the Skeleton King fell, my grandfather was dying from a sword wound. He had the crown sealed with him to keep it safe. He did what he had to. I don't think we need to train. I will have to look up how to appraise legendary items. So we have unidentified. Let's try that real quick. Now they have a lot of backstory on this. Where is the meat? Items can be identified by right-clicking them. Oh, okay. I see. Before patch 2.0, rare items were required to be identified, and you had to take them to some place and all that kind of thing. So now it looks like I can just right-click on it. And now it identifies it. Sweet! This is substantially better than what I have. Let's go with that. Uh, the shield is better. Those pants aren't really, and this is better. All right, we've got some, some better gear now. Well, I hope you liked the um, 
intro to Diablo 3. We went from 1 to 11 on uh, the hard difficulty in, in just about an hour, somewhere right around there. So, yeah, if we get, uh, if we get any good feedback, go ahead and continue on with some Diablo 3. Having said that, I hope everyone has a wonderful night and a wonderful weekend. And as always, stay safe.